Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's lesson is about money and the substrate is profit. That is, we are going to interact with examples and get to know how to make profit. So what is this profit? Profit is the extra money that you make out of a business or out of a transaction. For instance, let's say that you go to the sports house to purchase a ball. And you find that the price of the ball is 1,800. You sell to your friends at 2,500. Here, there are two terms. There's a term here called cost price. And there's a term called selling price. Therefore, according to example, 1,800 is the cost price. Meaning that cost price entails all the expenditures that you incur when purchasing something. So cost price could be buying price. Also, transport is reclusive. And in case you take lunch, or anything on the way it is still a cost price it is a cost that you're going to incur when you're going to purchase an item as a business person to come and sell now this person sold the ball at 2500 this is a bright person this somebody is very brilliant because if he could have bought the item at 1800 and come sell the item at 1500 then he could have lost his money, but you can see he sold the item more than the way he bought the item. Therefore, he made extra money. As you can see, he only spent 1,800, but when he's selling, he gets 2,500. So how much extra money does he make? The extra money you make after selling an item are on a higher price than the buying price is what we call profit. Therefore, Profit is equals to selling price take away buying price or cost price. Cost price. Remember I said cost price could mean either buying price or even transport. So buying price and transport are inclusive of their cost price so you're saying cost price you can also talk of buying price here so for us now to get our profit in case of this example it shall be 2500 take away 1800 let's take away 2500 take away 1800 so zero take away zero is zero zero take away zero is zero five can take away eight so we borrow one from there so 15 take away 8, it's 7, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So the profit, he made 700 as the profit. In this example, we are told that Okelo bought 2 kilograms of beans for shillings, 60 shillings. He sold the beans for Kenyan shillings, 75. How much profit did he make? We have said profit is the extra money that you make after making sales. That is, for you to realize a profit, you need to sell an item at a higher price as compared to the way you bought the item. As you can see here, he sold the beans at 75 shillings. This was a higher amount as compared to the buying price. Therefore, automatically, as you read the equation, you can say or you can predict if you made a profit or a loss. In this case, he made a profit since he sold the item higher than the buying price. Therefore, profit is equal to selling price, take away cost price. And in our example here, our cost price is only the buying price. Therefore, the profit will be selling price of 75, take away buying price or the cost price of 60 so 75 take away 60 is equals to 15 shillings therefore he made a profit of 15 kenyan shillings this this zero zero represent that 
we don't have any cents so our cents are zero zero that's why you're putting them there so this means 15 shillings profit in this example you're told that juma went to town to buy a shirt he spends a thousand shillings for transport if he bought the shirt at shillings 1500 and later sold it for 2000 how much profit did he make our formula for getting profit is equals to profit is equals to selling price take away cost price in this case there are two costs that incurred first was the cost for transport when he was going to buy the shirt the second one is the cost for buying the shirt so the cost price is equals to the transport which is 100 shillings plus 1500 100, which now when you put the cost price becomes 1600 now our profit is equal to the selling price take away the cost price and our selling price is 2000 take away the cost price of 1600 when you take away you get 400 therefore the profit is equal to 400 in this example, we are told that Joe's bought a cow at shillings 11,550. She sold it, making a profit of 1,450. I want you to take note of this profit. So, this is the profit he bought. So, this is the buy price, which is the cost price. So, in this question, what is their known? Their known is the selling price we don't know the selling price so we are looking for the selling price in such a question you need to know what you are given and what you are looking for so here we are looking for the selling price so what do you do we need to put the formula for getting profit so profit is equal to selling price take away cost price which can also be the buying price so we have only one one unknown here so profit we put whatever you have you put it in the formula so our profit is 1450 is equal to selling price that we don't know we are looking for it so we can give it any algebraic letter like x x take away buying price which is a cost price which is 11550 now once you reach at this point you apply the rules of algebra that is you put like terms together and in this case we have only one letter here so this is a number and this is a number we have to put the numbers together so our number here adds a negative the moment you crosses the equal sign it becomes addition so plus eleven thousand five hundred and fifty so let's put this together eleven thousand five hundred fifty Put together to 1450 so this gives us 0 plus 0 is a 0 5 plus 5 is 10 we carry 1 1 plus 5 is 6 6 plus 4 it's 10 we carry 1 1 plus 1 it's 2 2 plus 1 it's 3 and 1 plus nothing here it's 1 therefore the selling price was 13,000 in this example we are told that a shopkeeper bought five trays of eggs at shillings 120 per tray. Ten eggs broke and she sold the rest at six shillings per egg. If a tray holds 30 eggs, what profit did she make? To get the profit, we say profit is equal to selling price, take away cost price. We are told the shopkeeper bought five trays, bought meaning the buying price, five trays of eggs at shillings 120 per tray, meaning each tray. One tray cost 120, but she bought five trays. So you cross multiply. So five trays that cost 120 times five, 10, six. So the cost of Five trays was 600, so this is the cost price. Now let's get the selling price. We are told that 
10 eggs broke as she was transporting them. And the remaining eggs, they were sold 6 shillings per egg. And we are being told that a tray holds 30 eggs. When is she selling? She's not selling per tray. She's selling per single egg, an egg. So an egg is the one that is going for 6 shillings. Therefore, for us to know the selling price, we need to know the number of eggs that were there. For us to be able to tell how much was the selling price. Therefore, in a crate, one crate contains that eggs. What about five eggs? Uh, what about five trays contains how many eggs? So once we cross multiply, we say five times 30 is 150. So these are eggs. So the five trays contained 150 eggs. But I've been told that 10 eggs broke on the way. Meaning these 10 were never sold. So out of 150, we need to take away the number of eggs that broke on the way for us to get how many eggs remained. So 5 take away 1, it's 4, and you drop a 1 there. So he sold 140 eggs. Therefore, 1 egg costs 6 shillings. What about 140 eggs will cost what? So we cross multiply. 140 times 6. 0 times 6 is 0. 6 times 4 is 24, carry 2. And 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2, it's 8. So this is our selling price for the remaining eggs now let's get the profit we go back to our formula which is selling price take away cost price and our selling price is 840 take away our cost price which is 600 therefore 840 take away 600 we get zero take away zero is zero four take away zero is four and eight take away six is two and therefore the profit was 240 shillings I wish you the best and kindly remember to subscribe, click the notification bell and also leave a comment. Also practice, remember practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.